If you're planning on designing a septic system, there are several things you need to know. Getting a system that meets your needs and won't fail is important to the environmental and economic health of your community. Today we're going to go over some septic tank basics and some design features of typical septic systems in British Columbia. Site Characteristics Before a septic system can be designed, a registered on-site wastewater practitioner will perform a site and soil evaluation. They are looking for potential site characteristics such as bedrock outcropping, vegetation and drainage, environmental constraints, and water bodies. They will also perform percolation tests to determine the rates at which the soil accepts water. Identifying soil profiles and loading rates are a vital part of site investigation and a must for designing any septic system. The Septic Tank A typical home septic system will have a septic tank that is either concrete, plastic, or fiberglass. The septic tank is sized according to the amount of the household's expected flow and has to have sufficient volume for three days of retention. Its job is mainly to prevent clogging in the drain field by separating the sewage into solids, oils, and fats. Lighter weight matter like fats and soap residue will stay at the top and the heavier organic matter will sink to the bottom and begin to anaerobically decompose. The liquid that's between these two layers will then flow through the outlet baffle towards the next component of the septic system, which is the distribution method. The fluid leaving the septic system called effluent has pathogens, solids, and nutrients removed as it moves through the soil in the dispersal location. The dispersal field should be proportionate to the anticipated flow and characteristics of the soil type on the lot. Treatment Types In Canada, there are three primary treatment types for a septic system. Type 1 systems typically only use a septic tank as the primary sewage treatment. Type 2 systems introduce further treatment to produce a higher quality effluent. This system uses air to encourage the breakdown of solids with aerobic bacteria. The higher quality effluent produced can be discharged into a smaller field, which is especially important for smaller lot sizes or other restricting elements. Type 3 systems produce an even higher effluent than a type 2 system. Often referred to as a package treatment plant, these systems encourage aerobic breakdowns through oxygen, disinfection with UV light, chlorination, dechlorination, and ozone. Type 1 and 2 wastewater treatment systems are used on lots of properties with relatively ideal conditions for ground dispersal. Distribution method. In British Columbia, a septic system design requires the use of a distribution method that ensures an even flow of effluent from the septic tank to the drain field. There are three common distribution methods. The first, a distribution box, is a containment box that captures the effluent from the septic tank. The effluent is then dispersed evenly through various outlets in the distribution box that lead to the drain field. The second is the drop box. This is similar to the distribution box and is used on sloped lots using gravity distribution. A series of drop boxes are situated on a sloping drain field. Once the highest field is saturated, the effluent just travels to the next box in the sequence. The last method is pressure distribution by pump. Electric pumps deliver controlled effluent amounts to the drain field. Doses can be set to certain time segments, so instead of the drain field being dosed as water enters the tank, it is segmented to prevent oversaturation. This can be extremely beneficial in drain fields with poor soil or shallow conditions like clay. It's important to keep in mind that septic systems fail most often when drain fields are poorly designed. Maintaining the health and functionality of your septic system is important to the overall environmental and economic health of your community. Contact us today if you have any questions or concerns regarding septic systems in British Columbia. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.